emails are utterly revolting. But from your expert eye looking at this, is it possible that he could just be having lurid, unpleasant fantasies? When the internet uh, first became available to everybody and we started to have child uh, pornography on it and exchanges, uh, there, were, there were clearly people who were fantasizing and not going to go any further than uh, uh, use that pornography in their own homes. And this is a huge challenge in this case, but I do think it's, it's, um, it's gone further when you, the wife's testimony today was very graphic about how she discovered this, her efforts to get her child out of the house and get uh, out out of the state, um, you've got the fact that he went on to a New York City Police Department law enforcement database to try to find some of the women. I mean, he actually took a step that's beyond the fantasy, beyond the internet, beyond just enjoying this in his own room, that he made contact. He has his wife under his own roof, obviously, but he made contact with two other young women at least, and the prosecutor may have more, <laughs> who he, one of whom he uh, had brunch with, one of whom he invited to his home in New York for a weekend. And um, in this conspiracy theory, if they can prove, if the prosecution is able to prove that he took overt steps to doing this. I mean, people don't like to hear about it, but, the, but cannibalism exists. Um, there have been mm. other cases of it, uh, and I think all our, your guests tonight know that. So it's, it's very repellent to a jury, and they may want to think it's a fantasy, but, and I think the prosecution has a difficult job. But I think if this is as good a case short of a murder that you're going to find with this fact. Mm -hmm. Alan Dershowitz, I mean, is that enough for to be a, a case as good as a murder? Because in, in reality, if they can not prove that he was genuinely going to do this, then presumably he will walk, won't he? Mm -hmm. Well, I teach about these cases in my criminal law class, and I, I write about them. And the interesting thing is if he had done this all by himself, if there hadn't been a conspiracy charge, if they were charging him just with plotting or attempting to kill, he'd be acquitted. Uh, because you can't convict somebody just for planning or plotting or wanting to do something. But once he talked to somebody else, and in this case they don't even know who it was, then it becomes a conspiracy. And if they can prove there was an agreement between him and somebody else to actually do it, now they have to prove that both of the people really intended to do it, that it can't be a fantasy on the part of either of them. But if they can overcome that burden of proof, then they'll win the case. This is a really cutting-edge issue because it poses the question, when 